man has been asking questions about the world since the dawn of time. First he thought it was flat, then through observing the stars discovered it was round. Through the centuries, scientists, navigators and cartographers have noted landmarks, crisscrossed oceans, defined certain spots and symbolic lines, but the equator, modern man was given a little head start. Near Quito, in Ecuador, there is a monument in honor of the French scientist Charles de la Condamine. During an expedition in 1735, he determined the precise spot of the imaginary line separating the two hemispheres. The site of the Mitad del Mundo, where the mythical line runs, is said to concentrate mysterious terrestrial energies. Centrifugal pressure is lower here, and so you weigh 0.03% lighter. But the experiments proposed to tourists are a joke. Phenomena like the Coriolis effect are real enough, but are only noticeable on the scale of oceans. Rituals associated to the mythical line of the equator actually begin well before La Condamine's voyage. Based on the latest technologies of satellite positioning, scientists have adjusted point 0.0.0. It is found exactly in the center of a circle of pre-Columbian stones. The pre-Incan construction Catequila follow of the moon in the Quechua language is dating from the 8th century. It was probably an astronomical observatory. But one question remains unanswered. How did they manage to build it so exactly on the line of the equator?